How did my journey on YouTube start? If you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea, if you're new here, and welcome to AKB Bags, where mostly I review handbags and different reviews of accessories, jewelry, and etc. <laughs> and today I wanted to discuss my journey two years later after I started my channel. I'm filming September 13th, so I'm past my two year mark. But I had so many other videos that I wanted to put out. I am a little late on this, but better late than never, right? <laughs> I started my channel back in May of 2021. I so wish I would have started May of 2020. That's when everyone was at home for the, you know, the COVID and everything. And I wish I really would have started then, but I, I didn't start out strong. I'm going to tell you my journey and tell you the mistakes that I've made so maybe someone out there will learn from my mistakes that you'll come out strong on your YouTube channel. So in May of 2021 I started uh, with an unboxing on my carpet. Not here in the babe cave at all. <laughs> on my carpet facing the, with my iPhone to the box just opened it dead silence didn't say a word. And it was, I believe, my speedy 25. So dead silence, didn't know what I was doing, was scared, didn't want to talk, didn't want to show my face for sure. <laughs> so that's May of 2021 when I started. And then one month later, it was June of 2021, I finally spoke. Because <laughs> everybody was like, we don't hear anything. It's because I was new. I didn't know if I wanted to talk. I didn't know if I wanted music. I just didn't know. But so I started talking, but it was a very short video because I was scared. I was shy. Now I'm out on this platform a whole lot different, you know, two years later. So that was my, when I finally spoke. And then October of 2021, I hit 100 subscribers and I decided, okay, then I'm going to show my face. <laughs> so that finally happened and it was the most awkward and ums, ums, ums. I try not to say um or now I edit those ums out because <laughs> I did take communications in college and you got marked off on your papers if you were saying and and ums. And I know if you went to college or even in high school speaking class, you got marked off. So I really try to go slower and I've learned a whole lot more on editing to cut those ums out. And we all do it and that's okay. We're not perfect and so that's what I did. The first face video was a little bit scary which it is for everyone. <laughs> Maybe not if you're an extrovert or like to talk a whole lot. Maybe it's a little easier for you. But that was my journey. So now we're into 2022 year and I get more comfortable with videos. I get comfortable talking to you because you're my friends now. We've become a community. I have my YouTube friends that I've collab, you know, I don't know if I've collabed too much in 2022, but that was when I was starting to research more about YouTube, the uh, analytics and what people like to watch, you know, is it Coach or is it Dooney or is it luxury LV bags? And I, at that time, started popping up some short videos and then and these short videos end up giving you more subscribers and so on and through each of these years I've learned different techniques different ways of promoting my channel I've learned editing skills I've learned what people like to watch on my channel 
and I did a video not too long ago I'm skipping a little but I did the five most viewed videos and that's really important because that tells you what videos that people want to see I mean what either if it's a brand or if it's a review of whatever your YouTube channel is those top five are a telltale sign of what you need to do more of so we're back in 2022 and I'm you know putting up more videos I tried to do two videos a week I try to put a couple of shorts videos up as well and again I we're, we're talking now 2023 I've started editing my videos and uh, learning transitions and funny voices and just improving the quality of my content more and more I feel like the more you learn each year the better you're gonna grow and the more subscribers you're gonna get even though there's the algorithm that YouTube has that I sometimes cannot figure out Sometimes I'll, I'll think that a video is going to do really well and get tons of views and it gets like 100 or 200. You know, you just never know what's going to be hot or not. That's the best way to put it. So let's go into 2023. Um, I hit 1,099 subscribers in May 29th of this year which was exciting I, and then I applied for monetization and two days later I was monetized I was like completely surprised and happy and it showed that I made like $38 from that monetization I was like oh okay well that's awesome but you have to have a hundred dollar minimum for YouTube to pay you for your AdSense and a lot of times, you know, people skip ads. Well, that doesn't help the YouTube creator get paid. If you don't watch a whole ad uh, and you skip it, which a lot of us do, and if they're long ads, I don't blame you, skip them. <laughs> then it doesn't count towards your AdSense. I learned that too, being monetized. So since I became monetized in May, like I said, I have learned different skills. Uh, I use Movavi Editor and I like to change my voice. I like to make stuff just a little more exciting or throw in some funny clips. I mean, something to grab attention because I feel like if you don't up your game every year, you're just going to flatline and then you're not going to grab more subscribers. At least that's what I, in my opinion. I've upped my thumbnail game. You know, you have to have a title that is very catching, but the thumbnail has to be almost clickbait, but yet it has to be true. So I have learned that the shorter the thumbnail words are, like three word, four word minimum, the more views I get, but it also has to be attention grabbing. <laughs> So to sum this up, uh, I just want to give a little advice to someone maybe thinking about creating a YouTube channel. Just a little advice from someone that started out not strong like I am now. That if you're going to do it, just jump all in. You're talking to your camera or your iPhone, but there are people on the other side watching you from all over the world. So you do have these worldwide friends that you don't know, but that comment in your videos and then you become, to, you get to know those people and you have your community grow. So jump in strong, unlike myself, because I would have a whole lot more subscribers if I had just jumped in both feet in my opinion i also learned that you know you have to reach out for sponsorships i signed up for pepper jam for different affiliate links email those people you know they have contact you know affiliate programs if they relate to your content or if that's something that's fun and interesting to you you must reach out 
especially if you're a smaller channel. And I've had pretty good luck with people reaching out to me and me reaching out to them and having a very good response. Yeah, you're going to get rejected and that's okay. You just move along and go on to the next one. There are so many companies out there that are not giant conglomerates like Coach and Louis Vuitton and Dooney, which I do have Dooney affiliate link so I do have those but I don't have coach I don't have any Louis Vuitton anything <laughs> but the bigger you grow the more affiliates will reach out to you but my advice is reach out to them it does not hurt you in any way to reach out and give it a shot you know write a professional email and tell them who you are and you what you do whether it's handbags or reviews or whatever your channel is reach out. It does not hurt and the worst they can say is no. And beware there's going to be comments on your videos that are you know scam type of comments or replica what's a uh, uh, whatsapp type of comments and you just remove those. Um, so these are the things I've learned and I'm still growing and I hope to continue because I love doing this. I, I like to film. I like to edit. I, of course, love handbags, duh. <laughs> but another thing I've learned is if a bigger YouTube channel has promoted a certain product and they promote it several times, if you don't get on that bandwagon for whatever it may be, a game or a handbag or you know, in my instance, it's handbags. If you don't get on that when it's first popping and everyone's searching for that particular item, your views will not be the same. So pay attention to what people are promoting, what kind of views they're getting. And if you, you must order fast if you're ordering something and get your video out as quick as possible that way you're in the hot topic zone of getting your video promoted and up in the analytics. Collaborations, contact, you know, email, Instagram, your fellow community members, and that's kind of hard to do. I'm not gonna lie, um, reaching out to collab with someone is, it's a little taunting, you're afraid that your fellow YouTuber's gonna say no, but honestly, if you're in that same community, most of them will, op you know, have open arms to you. Unless they're a lot bigger channel, then maybe not. Collaborations is important as well. So that is my journey slash advice. Uh, I hope this helped someone out there. If you're thinking about starting, what to do, how to do, and, you know, how, what I've learned. I hope that summed up everything that it, that's in this video and if you don't mind if you like this video hit the thumbs up that also helps my channel grow the comments the engagement down below it all helps the content creator move up in the analytics get subscribers so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video a little journey of mine and uh, hit the bell for future notifications so you won't miss my videos that come out and I hope to be here another I don't know how many years you know I don't know what, what my journey holds but I enjoy doing this and I hope you enjoy watching me and if you do you know what to do and thank you again for all your support continued support and I will continue this journey and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.